<clears throat> there was a major rainstorm and uh, my dinghy got carried downstream and got held up by this dam over here. Uh, I'm not sure you can see it, but it's on the other side of the river. Because I'm uh, going to have to go and rescue it. Oh, hello. So, uh, someone had uh, decided to take a joy ride on the dinghy down the stream and uh, they punctured some holes in it and unfortunately though they left it uh, tied up a few hundred meters upstream I managed to get it downstream here and uh, recently I just uh, did some repairs was, uh, these keel bolts were the issue they uh, got caught on uh, the rocks as it was passing by and uh, it made holes or leaks into the hull so uh, made some epoxy cement mix also there was a fairly large hole right here and uh, a smallish hole uh, over here uh, oh, and uh, most of these uh, sides where uh, this meets um, need to reinforce the seam along here. Let's have a look inside. So uh, there's my bailing bucket. I managed to uh, get it downstream because I could bail it faster than the water was coming in. Uh, and I actually had to drag it along some rocks, uh, so I might have done some damage, but uh, I think it was fairly minimal. Um, and yeah, see this person uh, had uh, tied up some fabric to try to stop the leaks. Uh, however, they were unsuccessful. Um, and... Uh, but that's okay, because it was uh, fairly minor. Like I said, I could bail it faster than it was leaking in. Managed to get it down here. Whew, that was an adventure. You know, I was, uh, I thought I lost my dinghy there for a while, and uh, it was quite an adventure getting the anchor out too. Um, this anchor, it doesn't really hold very well at all. Especially in these rocks, but uh, hopefully we won't have any rain anytime soon. But I can tie this up just to a tree or something. The person, uh, when they escaped, they uh, they did tie it off to a tree, so I am thankful for that. That's how I managed to find it, bail it out. <laughs> 